Hey, hey. Okay, Aquarius, this is for you. This is a pick a deck reading. So, um, you've got this beautiful, um, oh, I'm trying to think, obsidian. We have Moldavite and we have Rose Quartz. Um, this is the Rider Waite Tarot. This is the Crow Deck Tarot. And this is the Good Tarot. So you need to choose. You need to uh, look at these, close your eyes, whatever you need to do, and pick one. Maybe pick two or three. Um, because, I mean, each one of them could be for you. Every one of these could be for you. So you pick according to what you feel. Uh, but I'm going to start with this one. This is number one, number two, and number three. So we're going to start with our good tarot is number one. So we'll start there. And I did take romance angels for these, but that does not mean that this has to be romantic. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Um, if part of the reading is not for you, and it kind of, you know, just because it says romance, it has to do with love, but that can also be from family or friends. Okay, so I'm going to put the stone right there. And first off, I want to take this little card right here. And what it says is, if you want to look at that, you are the light of the world. So, what that tells me is that you need to keep your light shining brightly. You need to uh, allow others to see it. You need to, um, don't dim yourself. Be you. Be you. Be the beautiful you you were meant to be. Don't change yourself. Don't dim yourself for others. And we've got one of these. This is number five. This is orphaned. But number five, fives are about change. Things are about to change. You know, you need to come away from this energy if you are in this energy. If you are not, I feel like that some of you are coming away from it. But you may feel alone. You're not alone. You need to remember that you are not alone. Your angels are with you. Um, and if you're watching this, you know, you have me. You have um, all of the people in our little group, our, our uh, soul tribe here, you know. And, uh, yeah, you're not alone. Things are about to change. Those fives are about change. And if you once feel, failed orphaned, I feel like you're going to come away from that in a beautiful way. So let your light shine. Show who you are. Um, don't change. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. It, you know, if something is going on romantically in your life that you can't control, just let go of it. You know, if there's nothing going on and you feel like, well, where's the one, let go of it. Don't, don't try to control things. Uh, if you don't want romance in your life, but you want um, friends or uh, love from family members, try, stop trying to control it. That's basically what that is saying. Okay, let's see what our message is going to be. As you know, I pretty shuffle, but I will give it three thrice times. Aquarius, what's the special message? What's this pick a card message that we need for Aquarius? For Aquarius, for my fellow Aquarius. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Ace of Earth and Messenger of Fire. Messenger of Wands, uh, Page of Wands, uh, Ace of Earth. Someone is finding the strength to speak. Someone is finding the strength, it feels like, to. Um, oh. I'll be honest with you, for some of you, this is be you. You know, speak your own truth. It's like, do you see how we've got the candles around the head and we have over here, you are the light of the world. Be you. Um, so this is about being grounded, standing strong, standing in your truth, you know, knowing your value, knowing your worth, and um, building the beginning that you want. Building the life that you want. Um, now, for some of you, <laughs> for some of you, it feels like that there is someone coming towards you. There's someone that wants to speak a message to you. They want to uh, tell you something. Okay. 
Two of Swords, Page of Fire. Well, that's not the Page of Wands. Excuse me, see right here, Page of Fire. Um, five of Fire. Okay, you're getting messages, for one. And it's spiritual messages, and you need to follow on them. Um, you're being enlightened. You're getting messages. You're stronger than you think. You are not alone. And you are, for some of you having an awakening, awakening at this moment, you have gifts. And it's like um, Spirit is trying to help you to balance things out and to try to put, move past this feeling of being abandoned and being alone. Now, for others of you, I feel like that this could have to do with someone trying to come towards you, but it's because they want to speak a truth to you. It's a message. Um, this could be a friend. Um, it could be someone spiritual. And it feels like that they, they're wanting to give you a message about spirituality. That's what I'm feeling. So, see, you could be getting messages through uh, spirit, through uh, guides, or you could be getting them from someone here that you uh, think highly of, it feels like. So, this is really about, um, it feels like being enlightened and things really taking a change. Things going in a different um, see, I told you fives are about change. It's like once you start believing and you start seeing and believing in yourself and, you know, moving on your path, whatever your your path may be spiritually, and, you know, that can be many things. Um, it doesn't have to be uh, reading tarot or um, working in a church or it doesn't have to be. It could be raising your children or spending time with loved ones. It could be so many different things. Um, it's like once you 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 accept things and you um, decide to let your light shine, be you, and it's like it's time for change. Something's about to change. Down to the bottom. Fortune's will. <laughs> things are changing. Things are going to be. What I tell you. Things are about to change. Ten. You know, tens. That's endings, but that's new beginnings. So you're going to have some profound change that's going to really, um, it feels like it's going to bless your heart. I'm noticing that's a heart. Uh, so whatever this change is, it's going to seem big and it's going to um, really, it's going to have you looking at things really in a different light. Really looking at things as if you are um, amazed at how things have really changed and how you can go from feeling one way to feeling another way. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. That truly is. So I am, um, I feel like I'm, <laughs> I wasn't going to do these, but I'm going to do one for you. I feel like I should. Affirmation. Nope, too many. I only want one. I only want one. I mean, I have the one. It's only one. May I have the one? Please, Spirit. One. Thank you. Adversity. Okay. I think that one came out earlier. But it was with all those other ones. There we go. Okay. Now, I want you to speak this three times after me. You might want to stop and write this down so that you can do it when you want to. Uh, repeat after me. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn, and so it is. And that is what I have for you. So something, it may be about to challenge you, and it has to do with this new beginning, something ending, and you walk, stepping into this new beginning. That's very fortunate. You just have to see it that way. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for um, being with me. Um, and we're going to move on to... Um, Deck number two. Okay, deck number two. I'm going to put the Maldivite right here. And we're going to start here. And what it says is, you never fall until you stop trying. So, this is telling you not to stop trying. Never give up. 
and you won't fall. That's beautiful. So, I'm going to see this one next. And you got Treasure Island number nine. Oh my goodness. That's like good change. Something coming about. Some form of um, awesome change it feels like. Something happening. Something um, is about to change. Something is about to really happen for the, the good. And you got very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That's awesome. So remember, it doesn't have to be romantic, but it can be romantic. That's awesome. Okay, I do pre-shuffle, but I give it three on thrice. Okay, let's see what we get for Aquarius. Now, y'all have to let me know how you like this type of reading. Okay. What does Aquarius need to know from the Crow deck? What does Aquarius need to know, Spirit? Okay. 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 Someone. Oh, my God. We got the Ten of Swords, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, and we've got the Page of Pentacles. Okay. This is like, um, okay, they want me to lay this out here. Okay. Okay. And actually clarify. Okay, you're in your new beginning with that Ace of um, Pentacles there. You're in your new beginning. And um, this is actually, let's say, any swords. Okay, someone who um, hurt you at some point in time. Yeah, they're hanging on to your energy. They've not let go. Uh, they're taking on the Queen of Pentacles reversed. They're not in a good light, but they're hanging out. Uh, they want to speak to you. They want to say something with the uh, Page of Wands. That's why this Page of Pentacles is here. They want to offer something. Um, they look at you as the, their one. So this is someone that you've had something to do with at some point in time. They see you as their one. Uh, they're hanging on to your energy tightly. They're holding on to it. Now, they hurt you. They've done something to hurt you. And you're in your new beginning here. You're, you're doing your thing. You're doing you. You're, you know, you've got you. Page Pentacles. Knight of Cups. This person is going to try to offer some form of communication along with, um, it feels like, they're going to try to offer emotion along with, it feels like, possibly an apology or something that they can, like, hand you. They may hand you a gift. It's something small. It's nothing uh, really major. Aquarius. Ace. Okay. This is some, okay. See, there's the Eight of Wands, um, and it's reversed. You're not in communication with this person at all. This is you up here with the Ace of Pentacles. You're doing your thing. You're not in communication with them at all, at all, at all, whoever this is. You may not even know this is coming. Okay. Do we need to know any more? Do we need to know any more? Um... Give me a minute. I have to look at them. Okay, they're showing me they're showing me what happened. Okay. This as some there was lots of burdens whenever this this they're showing me what was. So get ready for it. Yeah. Um, there was lots of burdens. This thing, this was a marriage. 
or a long-standing relationship where you thought you, it was like you were married. You may have had a home together. There's the key. You see? Um, this was happy at one point in time with the Sun card. You had a home with this person. Um, things at, at that point in time, it's like things were going good with the Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. I feel like that um, this Queen of Wands was you. And it's like you had a lot of strength. And it's like you you were watching for thing for something, you know, it's like almost a feeling like trying to make things better, trying to make things go forward, make things happen. And then something happened, alright. Something happened. And it's like there was this big decision. It's like you, your eyes were closed. It's almost like something happened. Things changed overnight. They changed overnight. There was a big decision made, and it ended things. So this person done something that ended it. And it's like your eyes were closed. It's like you did not see it coming. It took you by surprise. You did not see it coming. But you felt like you had just been you know, just hurt so flipping badly. Just just hurt so badly. And, you know, it's like you were alone. You felt alone. That it's like they done something so bad that they just left you alone. Oh my goodness. See, it's like now, you know, you've got all these options. You've got lots of options. You've been doing the work on yourself. You've been doing what you need to do. You're following your intuition. You may be in your gifts. You're doing your thing. You're carrying your own your own burden. You've got you. And then, bam, it's like they've been watching. They want to come back or wanting to say something. Uh, there's going to be something about a truth, you know. Oh, they want to tell you the truth. Well, it feels like they hurt you. <laughs> Feels like the truth hurt you. I'm just going to be totally honest with you. They're showing it right here. It feels like the, the truth hurt you. They're going to want to tell you what they feel like is their truth. Um, but, you know, you've got your truth too. And you, I feel like that you see what happened. Uh, this person, you know, they've been thinking and thinking and thinking about this. They've been dwelling on this for quite some time it feels like quite some time about this relationship oh my goodness it's just um it wasn't balanced i mean they're, they're still showing it here it wasn't balanced it's like um they you know they had something beautiful with you that was gifted to them and they looked at the past. They looked at something else, and they went in the other direction. I feel like they may have cheated on me. And that was not equal give and take. It was all out of balance, out of whack. And it just, they killed it. They totally ended it with you. They ended it for you. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to take you one of these because I feel like you need it. I wasn't going to, but... I feel like you need it. I mean, you've got you. You've got you. You've just got, now you're going to have to deal with the past. This is definitely the past. Um, you know, it's like you've got this new beginning. And, you know, you're you're not going, you're not going to fall for this. Because you've got the Ace of, look, see, Ace of Pentacles. You have got Treasure Island. This person sees it. They know. You've got something changing for you. And they know it. And see, they want a, it's, it's almost a feeling like they want a piece of it. They want a piece of it. Nope. There's just one. They want a piece of it. There we go. There we go. Perfect courage. Look. <clears throat> May I want to write that down so you can speak it? Repeat after me. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence, and so it is. 
perfect one for you. You got this. This person, you know, they should have thought of what they had when they was with you. That's the way I look at it. Now, it's up to you, though. I mean, this is clearly up to you um, whether you want to take this person back. I mean, it, you know, it may have not have been as bad as, some, for some of you, this was cheating. And it was, uh, it hurt you terribly. Now, for some of you, it may have not have been as bad. And, you know, this... This could actually head somewhere. Um, but for some of you, they just want a piece of what you've got, you know, going on for you. Um, so, that is number two. We're going to move on to number three. Okay, number three. We're going to put our rose quartz right here. We're going to start here. Believe in yourself. So you do need to believe in yourself. Everyone needs to believe in themselves. And then we're going to go for the one, this one. TikTok number 30. Okay, there's something to do with time. There's something to do with timing. Um, it's like you're maybe being handed something. Maybe being handed a relationship. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So you may have a relationship that's coming to you, and you may need to open up, and you need, may need to see it coming. Um, may need to open your heart. I have pre-shuffled, but you know, I'm going to give it three thrice times, and we'll see what we get for you before you ask. Reversed. Okay. I feel like this is you wanting to offer your cup to someone, but you're not seeing them for who they truly are with that Queen of Pentacles reversed. And it's like you need to, to see them in a different light. You need to see them for who they are. This Queen of Pentacles. Because it feels like you've got someone else that's um, on your path for you. See, that's what I'm saying. It's like you're... You may not be... Okay. You may be going out with this person because you're lonely and offering what emotion to them. But you've got something better. It's Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you got something better. Yeah. See, Two of Swords decision making. This person can't even make decisions for themselves. It's reversed. So, you need to see this for what it is. You need to uncover your eyes and see this for what it is. You don't want to give your emotion out to someone who's not even um, going to... Uh, Queen of Pentacles reversed. That's not good. I mean, that's like someone that's not even taking care of themselves, not even doing. See, you want to go towards someone that's not, not even got themselves together. I mean, seriously. Okay, tell us about um, TikTok. That person, TikTok, the one. Tell us about the one for Aquarius, the one. Tell us what we need to know. What do we need to know? Okay, you're going to have to get... Okay. See? See right there? Okay. You need really... You need to think about this. You need to think about this. You're not thinking straight. You need to think about this. Because that person, they're in reverse. See? Yeah. They, they may be telling you, okay, they may not be telling you the whole truth. They're carrying, they got lots of burdens. You're going to be taking on a whole load with that person. The world's reversed. It's not moving on. It's not moving towards victory. It's not, you know, <laughs> ending a cycle and beginning a new one. You need to see this for what it is. Because I feel like you got someone else. See, right there. You got a King of Cups that's coming in. Or on your path. Now, tell me about, tell me about, let's see. Tell me about this King of Cups. Spirit. 
Okay, we know about the King of Cups. Okay, looky there. Looky flipping there. See, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups. This could be a soulmate connection. Yep. This could be someone that, um, if it's not a soulmate connection, it could be someone that you knew when you were younger um, coming back. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful, but you've got to get out of this energy with this person. Uh, you really need to know your worth and your value. You need to know that you don't have to be lonely. You know, you just have to have faith, and the one for you is going to come. You know, give it to God, give it to the angels, and allow it to be. Allow it to be. Stop trying to control things and things will start moving forward for you. That's what it feels like. They'll start moving forward for you as soon as you know your worth and your value completely. And stop letting people um, take you for granted and take your money it feels like. It feels like that person just wanting you to take care of them completely. And, you know, allow balance to come in. Things will start moving and you'll have a new beginning. But you got to move away from the type that wants to just constantly take from you. Yeah, that's what you're dealing with right here. Is a taker. Uh, deceitfulness. Oh my goodness. Okay, nope, not two. I want one. I want one, Spirit. Only one. There we go. See, you need to stop doing that right there. Worry. I'll well, write that down so that you can repeat this. And repeat it after me. Okay. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, and so it is. So I feel like that someone's worried about being alone. They're worried about, uh, you just need to have faith. Have faith in and. Give it, to, give it to God. Give it to the universe. And let the one for you come to you. Oh my goodness. This has got such a beautiful feel. This part of it. This part of it. And not so much. This is someone who is it's like it's all about them. And you know, they may not even, um, if they've got children, it feels like they don't even take care of them. So you may end up doing that too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you may have to think about that. Um, male or female. This is just energies. I'm not feeling it either way. It's energies. On every one of these pick a cards I've done today, I've, I, it's just energies. So, that's what I've got for you. Um, and you may want to go back and watch the other two. You know, that's up to you. But um, thank y'all so much for being here with me. And um, if y'all like the content that I create, you know, like the readings that Spirit allows me to share with you, give them a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Much light and love to you all. Until next time, bye.